Hi guys, welcome to our channel Mumbai to Canada. My name is Rushab and I'm Kushbu. Right, I know it's been a while, uh, actually more than a year. So we got some interesting topic to cover today and along with the topic we also have updated NOC codes for you guys. So before we start, please please do like, subscribe and watch our video till the end and hopefully you guys find it uh, useful. So coming to today's topic, um, Yes, both of us still work in digital marketing. That's still our passion. And what we thought was it would make a lot of sense right now uh, to address the common opportunities that come when it comes to digital marketing and the fields. So digital marketing, uh, though, as a wider topic, uh, you have two options when, you, when it comes to jobs. One is an agency job, which is what we used to do. And then the other is when you work for a client or a brand uh, as a digital marketing professional. So in today's video, we're going to address uh, sort of like think of it as the part one we're going to address agency roles but before that it's important that we explain you guys or talk about what are the different fields within digital marketing that you can pursue so take it over Kushbu. yeah thank you so um, talking about different fields in digital marketing right like Rushab explained it's a vast field and there is so much there is honestly a lot of op opportunity it's nothing to only do with alone paid but having said that, the first one I'm covering is paid a uh, growth or performance. Now, what is growth or performance? Every company has a KPI to achieve. At the end, the business is all about making money and how do you, you know, get those leads or those sales? So growth marketing roles are all about you talking about conversions. So different ways of getting that or different ways of doing that is through paid search, so Google ads, Bing ads, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter. People really care when the leads come and those leads are then nurtured by a sales cycle. Now, this is very essential and important role, be it an agency or in, or in company. Right. What about the other aspects? So that was one of them. Yes. So right. I was saying that that is digital marketing. So when you're searching for it, the word is growth marketing. Now, the second one is SEO role. Now, SEO is to do a lot with organic. It's to optimize your website, to make sure that your website is listing on the top when somebody's searching on Google, to make sure you're, you're writing content and creating blogs and making sure that whenever somebody's searching for product or service, you are looking at and the keywords you're optimizing towards. Uh, another one is website. Now, website creation is also part of digital marketing. Yes, it's, I'm not talking about more like JavaScript or something, but other part of website could be when somebody is actually optimizing websites. It's slightly different from SEO, but things could be, you know, doing landing page researches or making updates on websites or also working on um, things like working with creative teams and making sure that, you know, everything is continuously optimized on the website. Yeah, these roles could also be all about conversion rate optimizations, uh, as we call it. So a web strategist would closely work with uh, like an SEO guy. So not only are you working towards organic, but you're also working towards overall conversions uh, and experience that people or users have on your website. Right. Um, the next one and the important one is da data analyst. Now, data analyst or data scientist is all to do with data. So, you know, if that's a field you're really interested in, uh, you know, getting uh, started your career or you're already doing, I would really recommend, you know, if you are in your home country, start really learning SQL, SQL, BI tools. So you're working a lot with tools. You're working with different teams because what you're doing is study data, studying data and drawing conclusions and then helping the, the, your company understand how well you're performing. So this field is again vast, but very interesting. And if you love data, this is a go-to field for you. Yeah, perfect. And last but not the least, creative. It's creative. Now, honestly, creative could be a whole new you know, field on its own because there's so many aspects. But when you work in an agency, you will always have a creative team, which is helping you create uh, creatives or images for your paid search advertising or for your website or for your optimizations. So there are different things, but they all kind of work together, work together the end goal, which is growing the company. Yeah, correct. And, and just to be specific, creative as a role is the only field in digital marketing, which is not really digital marketing. Like creatives are part of all types of, uh, they're part of like core marketing, finance. Everybody needs a creative. But uh, since even digital marketing needs creative, we thought it's important to list it out. All right, now coming to job roles, uh, as you guys already know, both Kushbu and I work in performance or growth marketing. 
uh, our primary roles for the last several years have been growth hacking and growth. So uh, we're going to cover like some job roles that we know of, which are specific to agencies and and uh, they involve growth related roles. So take it and also what the salary looks like. Oh, yeah. Important. So Kushbu is going to not only talk about salaries, but also the years of experience, typically the company over here or the agency is looking for. So to start with, the beginner level job is always a coordinator. So it could be digital coordinator, paid search coordinator, Facebook coordinator. So these are coordinator beginner level uh, jobs. So what do you need for that? What do you need to be qualified? A, maybe, you know, a certification or a degree in that field. It's literally beginning, beginner level. Even yeah. if you have one or two months experience, you're welcome and people understand. So expectation is very clear that you don't know, but you're open to learning. Correct. And you'll be welcome with open hands, assuming that they're going to train you. So the salary bracket for this role could be anywhere starting from 35000 to 45000 Canadian De- dollars. Canadian dollars, <laughs> of course. Depending on... Uh, um, depending on which company do you or agency lend you up, for. agency you end up this job in. Yeah, some of the bigger agencies uh, in our experiences might not pay you the most. Like a lot of the smaller boutique agencies might be open to paying you a little extra just because they do get fewer applications. So that's a tip that you can keep in mind when you apply for uh, entry level roles in Canada. The second job role is specialist. Now, an ad specialist is somebody who was previously a coordinator, so definitely has had one year or one and a half year, two years level of experience. They know the platform. They don't need to be trained, but they are not expert in terms of, you know, planning. So they are more to do with execution and the salary would range for that role would be anywhere starting from 50 to 65, depending again on agency or the company you're working for. Yeah, I would say maybe around like you start probably in your 40s, not 50s, but it can go as high as 60s. So, yeah. yeah. So the next one is an account manager. Now, account manager is somebody, so a coordinator and specialist most of the time reports to an account manager. So as an account manager, you're not only leading the account, but also managing people in your team. You're the head behind a lot of uh, strategies. You are helping people strategize and you know execution, but you're not executing. Yeah. You're training people, you're helping them, you're helping the account grow in the way where you are supposed to, whatever the KPIs, you're meeting the KPIs. Yeah. Now, the salary range for this could be anywhere starting from 65000 to 75000 depending on the agency. Yeah, again, you might think of the range now reducing and that's how it works out. Uh, it's, it's really easy to crack a role for up to 60000 in digital marketing when you first start working. Uh, it's how you go from 60 to like a 90, 100K. It, 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 this is where, you know, sort of experience really matters and and and, and your, uh, I would say, your skills. Because if you have more than one skill, then that's always going to work in your advantage. Right. And the last one we are going to talk about is account director. Now, account director is somebody who is managing a few account managers. And definitely, the, as the role say, they're directing, they're giving a direction of how we should be working. So the salary range could be anywhere starting from 85000 to 110 k Now, depending on how big the team they are managing, what kind of a client it is. So a lot of things in agencies matter on what client you're working on, right. which is the project you're working on, or you're managing many other clients. Now, one of the questions that we commonly guess are get asked on our videos or people approach other LinkedIn or via email is should I only apply for beginner level joke jobs honestly this is a mistake that we did when we came we came with our mindset that you know we'd have to start fresh don't do that if you already have experience and when you read a job description you think you can do this you should go and apply for it. Yeah. The market is really good right now. And I know of people personally who've come here and landed up good jobs yeah. and actually at a mid to senior level of uh, jobs. Yeah. Yeah, she's right. You know, we, I also know a few friends who've come here and directly joined as account directors. So by all means, uh, take our advice and don't hold yourself back. Uh, it's always important to, to, to reach and aim higher. Uh, one of the tips that I would like to give you is sometimes while reading job descriptions, you will see them asking for stars, moons, and galaxies. People ask for everything, but understand the company still apply for it, give your interview, and make sure you tell them things that you can really do and you cannot do because yeah. they really understand. There are sometimes, you know, they want you to be an expert, and I'm making up this example in paid search. But if, if you know Facebook, that could be a bonus. So you could say, you know, and I'm an expert at a certain things, but I'm open to learning Facebook. So they could still consider you. Absolutely. Right. So 
Uh, I guess uh, just to wrap it up, uh, the NOC codes, which have been updated as of 2021. So if you're looking at a junior or mid level, uh, the NOC code is 11202 and we'll also put this in the description so you don't need to memorize this and uh, the NOC code for senior level jobs which is manager and above uh, uh, is 10022 so those are the updated NOC codes uh, you know please let us know if you guys have any questions we wanted to keep this short so sorry if it was rushed uh, do watch our videos uh, in future where we want to cover sort of the part two and explain more about client or brand side uh, digital marketing roles yeah so like Rushab said this was we just gave honestly a 119 example but if you guys want to hear more please write it in the comment and we will make videos in more depth uh, the second thing is for next video definitely look forward because we're going to talk about the jobs in company side the difference between agency jobs and company jobs and what we think could work well for your, what has worked well for us right? let me put it correct like yeah I mean that's essentially what we wanted to talk about. Uh, we did get a lot of questions uh, and I and I want to address this right now is about which courses to do, which certifications to do, etc. Uh, full disclosure, we don't count ourselves as experts at anything. Uh, but definitely, I think one of the things that we want to do is in future have a video of just our recommendations, uh, like basic courses and certifications. We've mentioned a lot of this in our past videos, so do do check them out. And uh, once again, please like, subscribe, and watch our videos. Uh, until next time, see you guys. Bye. Bye.